we have this really nice tarp that I set up in kind of a Vincent Massey-like configuration. Um, our kitchen's a bit of a mess because we just finished making a bit of a brunch on Sunday morning, but this is what it looks like. Everything in here is nice and snug and covered. Uh, we have our propane lantern for light pretty much wherever we need it. Um, we have these really cute chairs that we got from Mountain Equipment Co-op. Uh, they're really lightweight and portable, so that's kind of nice. Uh, our fire pits in behind, so when we're having the fire we shift the chairs, of course. Really nice front step. Oh, pardon the mess, we're actually just about to pack up and head for home. Um, this is our tent. It's a Mountain Equipment, Mountain Equipment Co-op Cabin 6. Um, it sleeps six people. Now, if you put them on the floor, six people will be pretty crammed. What we've done is we've used these disco beds. So we have the dis disco bed 2XL for my partner and I, uh, which is tons of room. It's actually more room than we have in our king-size bed at home. Um, I slept on the top, my partner slept on the bottom. And then uh, we put the kids in the disco bed XLs at the other end. I mean, they probably didn't need, you know, quite so big beds, but it was uh, plenty of space. The other thing I want to do is I'll just show in some really nice features of the disco bed. We've got these uh, sort of pannier bag side carrier things here where you can put your stuff in it, like flashlights and water bottles and cell phone and glasses and whatever you need, medications, blah, blah, blah. Um, I put mine, uh, hung mine on the other side so it wouldn't be in the way. And then um, one of the things we did is there's little attachment loops in the Mountain Equipment Co-op um, tent. There's actually a door divider, but we didn't bother using it. Uh, so what we did instead is we strung a, a chain of LED lights that use almost no power, and they're really quite uh, nice and provide a really good ambiance at night. Uh, we turn them off when we sleep, of course. Um, the other thing we did is it was minus one Celsius um, last night, and so we have this little electric heater. Uh, at this park, we have um, an electric socket included with our campsite. And so. Uh, this thing makes almost no noise. Um, it just provides a gentle heat and uh, kept us from getting too cold. I mean, we were in our sleeping bags and our blankets, but this is kind of a really nice uh, way of keeping us from too cold. So that's basically it. The Mech Cabin 6 has two doors, but we just used the other, the back door as a window. And uh, it provided for a really cozy, long weekend. And so we're really happy about it. Anyhow, that's it. That's all I have to say for today. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.